You go. Let, let me uh, start by asking you after uh, so much of your capacity has been taken up um, by the contango, do you have any storage space left? Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, good morning to you all. Um, we have 72 tankers uh, and only a few have been taken uh, for storage. And that, the rest, that, that is the case for the rest of the industry. So we have about 815 VLCCs. They can carry 2 million barrels each. And about 100 of those vessels have been taken in one way, shape or fashion as storage tankers. So there's plenty more capacity there. Good morning to you, Hugo. There's plenty more capacity. Um, that seems to contrast with all the headlines we saw recently about storage uh, maxing out. Is that because those headlines weren't taking into account your facilities? How come I mean, you have so much capacity left? You know, that's correct. I mean, first and foremost, our fleet is there for trading, i.e. for transporting the oil from the production to the refineries. Uh, and when you le read the headlines about storage capacity, uh, most of them are talking about land storage capacity, not uh, a storage on board vessels, because this is exceptional. But is there any reason to be transporting oil from anywhere to refiners right now, Hugo? Don't refiners have more oil than they can deal with already? That's correct. So um, most of the refineries have uh, cut their imports of oil. But let's not forget that the world in normal circumstances is consuming about 100 million barrels. And at the moment, uh, the demand for petroleum products uh, is set at around 70 to 75. So you still have, say, 75 million barrels that needs part of them needs to be transported. We, we, we believe that it's about 40 percent of that that needs to be transported. So there's still uh, quite a big demand for transportation uh, and the rest of the capacity can then be used as storage units. Uh, Hugo, what's happening to tanker rates at the moment? How do you expect those to evolve? Well, the tanker rates have been extremely volatile since the beginning of the year. Uh, you've seen all of our fantastic results in Q1. Uh, we have also showed what we have done so far in Q2. Uh, and in Q2, we are at $95,000 a day. That is for a vessel that is breaking even uh, at below 30000 So the margin is absolutely phenomenal. Um, in recent days, um, the, the rates have uh, uh, slightly decreased. We are now at uh, between 50 and 60,000. In some routes, we continue to, to book those voids at 90,000. So um, it's very volatile and it's very difficult to predict. Um, if the amount of uh, uh, capacity taken by storage would increase, then obviously uh, the remaining fleet would probably, uh, which is traded on the spot, would probably also go back to uh, these phenomenal levels, which are eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollars a day. What are you doing with the money? I mean, I see that you have a dividend out at eighty-one cents right now. Um, the rest of your profits, will you plow back into new tankers? Uh, do you think you could be buying back shares? What's the outlook? Yeah, so we always have. Uh, uh, different options we can buy back shares if we are not happy with the price and it's true that uh, our price i mean given the dividend that you just mentioned and that is in addition to a 29 cent of dividend that we still need to distribute for last year so one dollar and ten cent will be distributed in the month of june that represents a yield that is more than ten percent so the share price should trade much higher but we live in a world where uh, most of the stocks have been affected and so we're thinking about share buyback. Uh, that's definitely one of uh, the options that we have. Um, now it's probably not the time to buy new tonnage, uh, simply because when you're booking those phenomenal results, the value of those ships are going up, and we prefer to be counter-cyclical. Um, earlier this year, when the values of those ships were uh, much lower, we bought four uh, ships resale. They are under construction. We'll receive some of them at the end of the year, some of them early next. Uh, and uh, we also take, took advantage of the market and, uh, and, the, and the great values for our tankers to sell all the tonnage. You know, we are, um, uh, we are trading vessels. They are wasting assets. Their lifetime is about 20 years. Um, so we sold four vessels, three vessels, sorry, uh, which were 15, 17, and 19 years old and took advantage of higher values to do that. So this is a good recycling of our capital. 
Um, and for the rest, uh, 80% of our profits uh, goes uh, as dividends, um, and that's the 81 cent. And the 20% is used to continue to rejuvenate the fleet, but at times when the values are satisfactory to us.